Hey everyone, there is the lake drain. If we zoom back, there's this building here called the Palmer Ice House. We're just gonna walk up to the gate for now. They just put this new gate up here, I guess to stop people from dumping, but there's enough room you could drive around it. Brand new gate was just put up, it has a padlock. This is the old ice building, the reason for this pond being built. Over a hundred years ago, they built the dam there before the highway was built. They built the highway eventually on top of the dam where the lake drain is. The lake drain became abandoned after this place shut down and now it's owned by the DOT. You can now see clearly there's some signs saying security cameras in use. Probably just there to scare people, I doubt there actually are any. It also says no trespassing. Those signs were not up about four years ago. Four years ago I explored this building and the footage, I'd say it's alright. I'm gonna show you what's inside this building. A few years ago, none of this plywood was here. You could walk right on in. Also one of the garage doors was all the way up. See, you still see remnants. Somebody put the gate up, but they didn't even clean up the mess in here. When that drain occasionally would clog, this place would become underwater. Where I'm standing is only like two feet above the water table. Could easily flood, but this building was originally for housing ice in the summertime. They'd cut big blocks out of that pond, and they would store it in here and give it to people back when you had a real ice box. You put the ice cube up top, the cold air flows down and keeps your food fresh before modern refrigeration. Those are some awesome trees in front. Let's take a look inside. So for the past few years, there's been this pond I've been going to just to watch wildlife. And there's always been this abandoned building here, but it's always been overgrown with vegetation, I couldn't get anywhere near it. all the pricker bushes and stuff. You'd have to use a machete just to get up to it. But the doors were always locked because I did get up to it. But now all the doors are unlocked because they're about to demolish this in just a few days. So I thought I'd make a video of the inside of it. The room I'm standing in now, you could see some uh, rot on the roof, but the main beams, those are still standing strong. But not the room over here. This room already had a, the roof cave in, all the insulation fell off. Beams are still there, but all this stuff came down. I can see all kinds of electrical tubing, insulation, r just rotted wood sitting around everywhere. I'm not gonna go in there. Here's like a front room. This must have been the office because this looks like an old auto shop. This is a concrete floor. Actually seems new. This place must have closed not too long ago. Twelve years. Here's the calendar from when they last operated. I'm stepping in rotted wood right now and it feels squishy. It's all wet. Again, I am standing on concrete. Here's this old desk. Nothing in it. Here's a map of Massachusetts and Connecticut. The ceiling's about to fall down too. Well, not the ceiling, just the insulation. It looks like mice were using that as nesting. Here's the front loading dock.
heating system in here is starting to fall off the ceiling. See all the ducts hanging because their brackets all broke. You can see there used to be a drop ceiling. All those rotted away a long time ago. It fell down. And now the lights and ducts are about to follow. Here's a workbench. Just got a bunch of nuts and bolts. There's some shellac. That duct there I could probably just pull off the ceiling. Yeah. Doesn't even lock anymore. Look at this whole wall about to fall out. This is their bathroom. Toilet's gone. Is this my way out? This is all overgrown last time I was here. Here's where their toilet goes to their septic. Look at all the crickets. You saw them all going nuts. Those are what you would call cave crickets. Be nice to come back here with a net, catch some of those to feed to pets. Maybe there's more in this one. Yep. Hey everyone. You all remember about a month ago I was here showing the brand new lake drain after they spent all the time working on it and they obviously rushed it and they messed up. After calling the DOT, now a month later, there is a brand new excavator here. They're going to start digging it up like for the fourth time. The good news is, it looks like there's actually water flowing in there. They may have done something temporary, but I doubt it. Those ribbons, I'm pretty sure, were there. Oh, look at that. They have the valve open a little bit. I wonder why. Does that thing just turn? Oh, I see now. I just turned it like two full turns with my hand. It turns really easily. It's a gate valve, so it would probably take like 50 turns to get it open. Not a ball valve.
you can faintly see the ice building right here through the trees. It looks like they're trying to sell it, but their sign got pushed over. How is anybody gonna know the ice building is for sale? Cannot even read it. For sale. Just grab these out of, they were down there like 10 feet. I don't see the point. Why do people dump stuff like that? It's aluminum. Anybody will take it. Why do you got to throw it so far into the woods? This driveway right here belongs to one of the houses by that body of water. And notice right here, the piles of dirt. This person's trying to stop all this water from the road from going down their driveway because the town doesn't want to put curbs in. So this person dug all these by hand. I saw him walking back in with a shovel. So I know it was the guy and not the city trying to prevent thousands of gallons of water during a rainstorm from flooding into the driveway just because the town doesn't want to do it. This is the other side where the lake drain gets its water. Years ago, if you look at old satellite images, the place was twice as big, but slowly sandbars and sediment has filled in. This used to be part of the pond way up here if you look at old maps, but it's really filled in. So this is where the pipe is getting its water. Look at how rusted out this thing is. And I bet it's not even in the, they're not even planning on probably touching this in the foreseeable future. This pipe right here is coming from storm drains on the road. This one right here is coming from the nearby shopping plaza. They have a small uh, retention pond and the retention pond is completely broken. A retention pond is supposed to fill up during heavy rainstorms and when the rain is done, slowly release it. But the entire system that's supposed to release it's broken so it all just comes in here at full blast when it's raining anyways it's all messed up but as you can see the inside of the pipe doesn't seem too bad the lake drain failed really fast even though this pipes to probably the same age it's not sitting underwater is one of the main factors but I do see some deterioration there in the beginning Oh yeah, it's right underneath just like the lake drain. Eventually a sinkhole is going to form under this road here, which is Thorndike Street. It's going to happen eventually. You see how deep it is right here going under? There's probably six inches at least of hollow space beneath the pipe. It's not as dangerous as the other culverts because the other one's like 50 feet below a highway. Here there's like 10 feet of dirt. Still a 10 foot sinkhole would really ruin somebody's day if they ran into that or sunk into it. Let's see what's going on. I can see a big piece of metal right here. Yeah, this is real, oh wow. Look how it's all hollow, you see? It's like two feet of hollowness beneath this pipe. And look right here how deep that is right there. It's not like the water's plunging down there. If this was blasting, it would be coming straight out here. This is hollow because a lot of the water's flowing beneath going in right there. I can't even walk in this pipe. If I stepped there, I'd fall right through that. It's not as bad as the lake drain, like I said, but there are still a lot of holes. And the other end of this, you know why you can't see the end? The entire embankment, all this granite and stuff, the other side collapsed and it's just fitting through little cracks. And that might actually be forcing it to go underneath a bit. Can't see anything deeper in there. You know, the road salt causes a lot of this also. Look, oh, look at this. 
see how it just shatters? Real messed up. And look, look at the garbage inside that one coming from the retention pond. Let's go take a look at that broken retention pond. Now, that is the responsibility of the store owners to fix that. That has nothing to do with the town. But it's causing problems for the town because it's linked into their system. And take a look at this invasive knotweed. It's this stuff, it looks like bamboo, but it's invasive and it kills forests because it blocks all the sun so small seedlings can't grow. And once the big mature trees fall over, there's no small ones to take their place. So it wrecks the forest, it destroys everything, and it's hard to kill. I had some of that stuff. I eventually killed it. It took many different shots of Roundup. It kept coming back even with that. Looks like a few little friendly raccoon tracks too. Here we are at the parking plaza's retention pond. You can see there's two places where the water leads in and you see how the pipe is so deep in the ground? That's because you're supposed to dig out a retention pond occasionally. They haven't been. It's overfilled with sediment. And over there is the drain, which leads to where I showed you. See how it's broken off? That's supposed to be connected. It has an emergency overflow when that thing is standing high. But you see the small holes in the side allow it to release really slowly. A retention pond remains empty. It fills up during a heavy rain event and slowly releases it so it doesn't cause major flooding downstream. Hope this video was interesting. Thanks for watching.